Pomanders or kissing balls have been around for centuries. Today I'm going to show you a few of my favorite techniques using styrofoam brand foam from the Dow Chemical Company to decorate your own pomanders. We're starting with some silk flowers and a styrofoam ball. And what you're going to do is go ahead and cut the um, flowers, leaving about a one inch stem. Once you have your pieces cut, go ahead and push them in place wherever you want. Now you could use a couple different colors of flowers or even different kinds of flowers. You could tuck some leaves in. There's tons of ideas. Once you cover your ball entirely, you may want to hang it. And this is popular even for replacing bouquets for um, brides to carry down the aisle. So I'm just using a skewer to poke a hole in, and you can see I kind of swiveled that around a little bit. You're going to then fill it with some low temperature hot glue, like so, and then tuck the knot end, and I'm using the blunt side of the skewer this time, and push that down inside the hole. Okay, and so that makes it really easy to hang. Styrofoam balls come in different sizes from 1 inch to 12 inch, so you can make these as large as you'd like. The next idea I want to show you uses tool, and you can see it comes on the roll or by the bolt or by the yard rather, and it's sparkly or um, plain. All you have to do is cut some rectangles, and you can cut them as large as you'd like. It kind of takes a little bit of experimenting to get the look you want, but you're just going to begin by accordion folding your rectangle. And you can see I actually have two layers on top of each other. Once you finish accordion folding, you want to take your little wire twist ties that I've gone ahead and pre-cut and then just wrap it and twist it up. This is a great activity to get together with your girlfriends at home and make a bunch of these before the actual event. Once you get these zipped up, you're just going to tough kind of tease them out here a little bit. And then I've got some right here. And you can see, look at all these beautiful um, puffs. And then you can stick them in. If your wire is thick enough, you can stick it right into the actual ball. Or you could tack them in place with some hot glue again. These would be really great for prom. OK, the next idea I want to show you actually uses tissue paper. And it's pretty much the same idea where you're just using your rectangles and accordion folding like so. And I've gone, got some. They're kind of like butterfly wings. And this actually has three rectangles stacked on top. So when I tease it out, you can see I'm pulling each one out. And you can fuss with these until you get them as fluffy as you'd like. And go ahead and do the other side. like so, and that kind of makes your little carnation or rosette. And you can uh, adhere those to the ball by poking the wires in or gluing them again. Now, say you want to change the look of your um, pomander. You can see this one kind of has spiky um, ends. You can do that just by trimming the ends before you tease out your papers, like so. And you can, so you can make them spiky by cutting them to a point, or you can make them rounded, like I did on this one, by cutting the end in a curve, like this. And that kind of changes up the look considerably. Lastly, I want to show you this cute little idea. And it actually uses cupcake wrappers. What you're going to do is fold your cupcake paper in half, and then in half again. And you can use these pretty pearl pins to poke through the point, and then affix them into the ball. And you can kind of tease them and wrap them as you go. It takes about 75 wrappers to cover a 4-inch ball. So these are some great ideas to decorate your special event and make your own pomanders using Styrofoam brand foam from the Dow Chemical Company.